it's not just a home run masher. It's a complete player, two-way player. And Jack, you mentioned this, the on-base percentage. Part of that is he draws a lot of walks, too, about a 19% rate. So you're throwing that into the stew with the strikeouts, and suddenly you have if a guy is patient, LeMayhew, Judge, potentially Gallo in that three spot, that can wear a pitcher out right out of the gate. Right, that combination of power, patience, and discipline is a tantalizing combination. And when I look at Gallo, to me, he's the epitome of the modern day player. He is a guy who goes out there, and yes, there's going to be a lot of swing and miss in his game, but there's also going to be a lot of other numbers that are very attractive to major league teams. We talked about it, on base percentage, slugging, the homers. He goes up there, and he goes up there with a plan, and a plan that allows him to be one of the better hitters in Major League Baseball. I mentioned this statistic last night. There are only three guys in baseball right now who have a gold glove and a 40 homer season on their resume. It's Gallo and then two MVPs in Bellinger and Yelich. So that's the kind of play that they're getting. And I think you're absolutely right, Bob. Put him in left field and have him sandwiched right between Judge and Stanton in that three hole. I think that's the perfect spot for him. Yeah, there are a few things that I think about the old catcher in me and the lineup that he is now going to be a part of and probably hitting in between Judge and Stanton. And as a catcher and a pitcher, how do you navigate that? I mean, you can't pitch around anybody in that Yankee lineup. So I think that the walks that he had in Texas are probably going to translate into a lot more pitches to see to drive because he's going to have some protection in the lineup. I also think about Judge hitting in front of him and the protection of Gallo hitting behind him. But the one thing about any player that comes to the New York Yankees, if he can get off to a good start, right, and hit some home runs, hit some ball hards, and, and be a contributor, then you don't have that pressure of the Yankee fans and the expectations, and you start to overswing a little bit. So him getting off to a good start is imperative. By the way, there was kind of a predictive model about the balls that he's hit in Texas. About four that went to the warning track there would have been home runs in Yankee Stadium. So he'd have about 29. In the meantime, the byproduct of this deal, Jack, and sort of the bonus round of it, is that the Rangers reportedly are picking up the salaries of Gallo and Rodriguez. Does that keep the door open for another Yankees deal? It does. The door is open. There's no doubt about it. And speaking to Yankee officials, they say that they're still working the phones. I think that was a masterful part of this deal, that they got the Rangers to pick up the money so that the Yankees still have about $4 million of wiggle room under that luxury tax threshold. We've mentioned the four minor leaguers that they traded none of those were top five prospects in the Yankees system so a, a terrific trade by the Yankees and now what could be next I do think guys that they're looking for another reliever I think that they're looking for an arm that could help within their bullpen they have a lot of strong relievers out there but the bullpen has been fatigued and had struggled recently heading into last night a six ERA over the last 20 games so that four million dollars that's left should give you enough room to try and add an arm. Yeah, I 100% agree, and I agree because of the fatigue factor. If you look at a lot of the arms in the Yankee bullpen, you feel good about all those guys, but they've had to work so hard the first half of the year. So if you can bring in another reliever to take a little bit of the stress off of, the, of those guys down there, I think about Luke Voigt coming back. He seems like he's day-to-day. -day. Luis Severino, we just saw pitching in that simulated game. Boy, what a, what a boost that would be for your rotation coming down the stretch. And the fact that the Yankee rotation is throwing the ball as well as they are right now, I would think the bullpen is where they would look to add.